Hello, my name is Nicole Carson Bonilla and I'm a portrait photographer. In this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes with me as I style, shoot, and edit a high key photo shoot of a beautiful ballerina. But before we go any further, please do me a quick favor and click the like and subscribe buttons below. For this high key ballerina photo shoot, I wanted to create an outfit that incorporated flowing fabric and would also show the athletic physique of my model. I made this white top by adding some oversized trumpet sleeves to an existing three quarter sleeve fitted white t-shirt. For the sleeves, I cut four large circles from some white sheer curtain panels I purchased from a local thrift store called Goodwill. I cut one set of circles slightly smaller than the other and then layered them for each sleeve. Then I simply sewed them to the t-shirt sleeves. For the throw skirt, I used two IKEA brand white curtains made out of a thin mesh, which I also purchased from Goodwill. First, I cut the top edge of the panels at a slight angle so that the front of the skirt would be a little bit shorter than the back of the skirt. I sewed the two panels together at the sides and then gathered the top to create a waistband and sewed it to a ribbon. I really like the thin white trim at the bottom of the panels because it adds a little bit of weight and definition to the edge of the skirt. I selected this oversized white rhinestone necklace to add to the dreamy elegance of the photo shoot. I also wanted it to visually draw the eye to Alexandria's face and expressions. I simply hot glued large alligator clips to artificial flowers that I could easily place in Alexandria's hair. I really like the structure and texture that these flowers add with the backlight. Since the flowers are white, parts of them will be blown out with the background, which I think is really beautiful. My very talented hairstylist, Paige Palmer, styled my model Alexandria's hair in an elegant updo. I wanted Alexandria's hair pulled up so it wouldn't visually interfere with her shoulder line in the portraits. My portrait studio is set up in the guest suite in my home. The room is 11 by 15 feet, so I have to make use of every square inch. I also use this room for sound recording, which is why I have sound panels attached at the ceiling line. I start with this LED ring light as the ambient light in the room. Then I have a Canon 600EX speed light with a MagMod mag bounce on top pointed towards this white sheet on my back wall. This is set to a very low power and provides a subtle amount of fill. As the backdrop for this photo shoot, I have a king size white flat sheet hanging from my backdrop stand. I have another Canon 600EX speed light with a MagMod mag sphere set up behind the sheet. The mag sphere helps to gently spread the light across the back of the room. These white window shutters help bounce additional light. Then I have a white V-flat placed camera left to reflect in the light from behind the white sheet. The V-flat is made from two sheets of polyboard taped together with gaffer's tape. I have another V-flat folded in half with the painted black side towards the model to cut down the reflected light coming in camera right. This helps to maintain some dimension in her face by casting soft shading to the right side of her nose. I also have the silver reflector low camera right bouncing in some additional light. For flooring, I have sheets of masonite boards laid down on top of my carpet. Then I rolled out a sheet of white vinyl I purchased from an upholstery fabric store. I wish my studio was several feet deeper so I could use a longer focal length, but this is what I have to work with so I'm making the most of it. During the photo shoot, I had my daughter and her friend throwing the skirt from camera right and left at the same time that I was pressing the shutter. My focal length had to be set at 24 millimeters to fit in as much of the skirt as I could. My aperture was at 4.5 and my ISO was at 320. For the sitting poses, I used my little silver metal step ladder. I love the contrast of the rustic metal with the elegance of the ballerina. I was able to zoom in my focal length to about 50 millimeters. I like to use Exposure X6 for cataloging and colorizing my portraits. I save a copy of my selected portraits and edit them in Photoshop. I have to extend the backgrounds and do some cloning and painting to get the seamless white backgrounds. Then I go back into Exposure and apply my color grading to my layered Photoshop file. In Exposure, I can also easily create black and white versions of the portraits. I think blonde hair dressed in white on a white background looks especially gorgeous in black and white. I am so excited Alexandria was in town and was able to collaborate with me on this photo shoot. 
I love how these portraits turned out and I'm excited to keep shooting in this beautiful high key light. If you like this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. Then I can keep making videos like this one and taking you behind the scenes with me.